and she's four minutes late. We did say 5.15, didn't we? Okay. Good, good, that's what I thought. Okay. And now she's five minutes. Great, wonderful, that's just... perfect. I mean, she's never been to my house before. She doesn't know where to park, even though there's only one driveway, but fine, she'd definitely probably lead just in traffic. Yeah. Traffic in a suburban neighborhood. Mm. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. This is hardly the first time I've told anyone about magic, and I've listened to the speech over and over again from the people at the Bureau. I I know exactly what to say, and you practically memorized the entire book. Oh, it, it, dear, stop picking at your nails. There's going to be nothing left by the time she gets here, and we can't both be nervous. Yeah, well, it's my house. I get to call dibs on being the nervous one first. <sighs> all right, all right, that's... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, let's just take a breath. We have been planning this for weeks. We have read every pamphlet that has ever been written about this. We have watched every seminar. I have listened to several audio resources several times over. We are going to be fine. We have prepared as much as we possibly can without going overkill. <sighs> right now, we just need her to get here. Yes, yes, I... I am sure this is the right thing to do. We have gone back and forth on it so many times, we cannot go back on it again. We are doing this. We are doing this. She is on her way. Um... Uh, of, co of course. You take the lead on telling her, but if you need any backup, or you need me to jump in, just let me know. Oh, um, are you sure? It's going to be a lot focusing just on Abigail. Uh, okay, okay, if you want me in your head, I, I can be there. But if it ever gets too cluttered in there during the conversation, just give me a nudge and I'll come right out. No, not out of the closet. I. First of all, I did that in middle school. Thank you very much. <sighs> well, at least you're making jokes. That's better. Even if they are at my expense. Yes, we're doing this. No matter what happens after today, we have to tell her. We're all going to be better off for it. I hope. Okay. I'm going to run into the kitchen and check on food and make sure that's all set out nicely for the fourth time. Just keep an eye on your phone if Abigail happens to text, all right? All right, that's the plan. Um... Where was I going again? Kitchen! Kitchen! Yes, kitchen! I'm going to... Kitchen. Oh boy. Hello? Is this where the cult stuff is? I brought my own black robes and everything! <laughs> hey, bud! Thanks for finally getting the door. I thought you were gonna leave me out here all night. What the fuck are you fidgeting for? Get over here! <laughs> uh, 
All right, get off me. Usually I would ask where Rosie is, but that is not on my priority list. Where is he? My nephew, my son, where is my boy? Abigail, is that you? You bet your ass it is. I'm on the hunt for your kid. Hold on, I'll bring him out in a minute. I have waited months to meet him. How dare you make me wait more minutes? I am pulling things out of the oven. Be patient. <sighs> Fine. But feel free to sit anywhere and help yourself to the drinks. Oh, shit. What, you got like a drink station going on? Uh, yeah, sure, after you. Holy shit. Uh, Rose, I don't mean to judge, but you have a fully functioning bar in your living room. Do you want to talk about something? What about it? First of all, how do you afford this on a librarian salary? Well, I didn't buy them all at once. Uh, yeah, but at this point, I'm convinced you robbed a James Bond villain for all this stuff. Did you know about all this? Jeez. For your information, I used to be a bartender for a few years before moving to Glenwood. It helped me socialize for a time, and I was really good at reading what people wanted. So the job fit. I... Just so happened to enjoy mixing cocktails, so I brought some bottles home for a collection. <laughs> uh, you and I need to have a very serious conversation on what the word some means. Well, the collection grew. Yeah, I'll say. So, uh, you know, hypothetically, what would you make me? <laughs> well, you prefer your alcoholic drinks sweet, so... Probably an amaretto sour. Oh, I have no idea what that is, but I am not going to question your verdict. No, sounds good. I can make it for you now. I just bought a new bottle of amaretto a few weeks ago. <laughs> not, not, you don't got to do all that. that. That's fine. It's, you know, but if you're offering, I ain't going to deny you twice. Uh, dear, can I make you anything? In this situation, a drink might actually help. Coming right up. Well, I get those made. Dear, why don't you go introduce Abigail to Excalibur? His enclosure should be unlocked. Oh my god. Alcohol and the bearded dragon? I'm in heaven. Deep breaths. Once we all sit down, we'll tell her. And who knows, maybe if she's holding Excalibur, it'll keep her calm. <laughs> All right, all right, where is he? Oh, <laughs> damn, that is bigger than I was expecting. Uh, no, no, that's not a complaint. I'm glad he's got plenty of room. I just... Wow. That is some machinery. Oh, <laughs> look at him. First on top of a rock, just like his namesake. You know, I gotta appreciate how he understands his own branding. Hi, buddy. It's very nice to meet you. Your mother's been hiding you from me for over a year now. Uh, oh, wait, for real? I, I, I don't want to be disrespectful if Rose isn't in the room, like... <laughs> yeah, I'd love to hold him. And he's okay with, like, you know, being held and picked up and stuff? Yeah, hang on, let me just get one of these little, you know, wipes and, uh, clean off my hands. <sighs> Leave it to Rosie to be prepared, huh? Okay, all clean. Let's do it. Oh, hi. Oh, you've got some heft to you, okay. Oh. He just cuddles in like that, huh? <laughs> you know, Rosie must have got him socialized really early then. He's so calm. <laughs> I mean, a little. I have never been happier in my entire life. 
You know, I can never put him down now. I can't. He's comfy. I can't move. Drinks are done if you two want to come into the living room. Oh, then again. Is it alright if I'm carrying some precious cargo? Of course, bring him along. He likes to feel included. Huh. You know, I can't speak lizard, but I think he agrees. <laughs> Go on. Oh, man. Rosie, you'd have to go all out like this for us. <laughs> what do you mean? The garnishes, the fancy glasses. Hell, I'd be happy to take a drink out of a Dixie cup. Uh, I am not making cocktails in a Dixie cup. Plus, they're discontinued anyway. <sighs> I know, I was so sad when I heard about that. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm sitting, I'm sitting. Don't rush me, you'll jostle the baby. He has run full force into every piece of furniture in this house. He will be fine. Ugh. Are you saying you gave our child brain damage? He gave it to himself. Our child? Yes, we three, our child. How did this go from you holding my pet to suddenly sharing custody? He is not a pet, he is a treasure. See, that blink means he agrees. Oh, so now the two of you are just bearded dragon whisperers. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You've only known him for... I don't know how long you want to hold off, but I'll let you decide when we start, okay? Ten minutes have laid a very strong foundation. I am right here with you. Well, let me tell... Oh, yeah, yeah, what's up? Okay, so you're finally gonna tell me why I'm here, or... Oh. You, uh... You look serious. <laughs> okay, getting a little nervous, but... Sure, say whatever you gotta say. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I remember that. It's a while ago, but, I mean, my life's getting to talk about magic and stuff like that, so, uh, getting to chat with you on a philosophical level, it was, it was nice. I'm not sure what that has to do with it now. You're doing well. Don't lose your nerve. <laughs> all, all right, you're, you're both kind of looking at me weird. Should I be worried about something? Oh, God, is this why I have to have the emotional support lizard? Oh, <laughs> well, the, the two of you are looking like you're about to tell me one of us is dying. Deep breath. You can do it. Okay, well, if you've got something to tell me, then tell me. I'm all ears, I promise. Yeah, we talked about this. I, I know you don't think magic is real. Like, we had a whole discussion about it. You know, real magic. <laughs> Listen, I run a supernatural podcast, but I still think that the concept is, you know, pretty subjective. We don't need to all agree on what magic is. I mean this. I don't care if you don't believe in magic. You don't gotta pretend just to, you know, be on the same level. <laughs> Let's. Abigail, when we say magic, we mean it. We? Oh. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I see what's going on here. Ha ha. Very funny. Let's poke fun at the podcaster, get her all worked up and nervous, and then pull out a magic wand. I appreciate the dedication you've both taken to the bit. Very funny. We're not joking. <laughs> okay. You're committing. I appreciate it. A little weird, but... But... Yes, I, I told you already. I think magic exists in, you know, like, the human relationships, nature of the world, stuff like that. I'm on board. I, I know. I... Okay. Alright, come on. You're, you're, you're kind of pushing it now. Abigail, we're not trying to make fun of you. Okay, then drop the bit. It was kind of funny the first time you said it, but you're just repeating it. 
like, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. I have a weird hobby. You two didn't need to gang up on me like this. Uh, no, no, we are not trying to gang up on you. I'm so okay. sorry. If I can take over. Your you did great. Okay. We you knew this wasn't honest, going to be an easy conversation. Honest about what? Magic, Abigail. We're trying to be honest with you and tell you that magic exists. Real, tangible magic, not just in concept or philosophy. Magic exists. And it is something that the two of us both possess and have had to keep secret. Yes, we have both spent enough time with you that we want you to know. Because we think you deserve to know. We don't want to keep things from you, and this is something that we couldn't go on with you not knowing. <sighs> I know what it is. My listeners put you up to this, didn't they? You know, I've had people in my comment sections making jokes like this in the past. I don't know how they got your numbers, but this is going to be something I'm going to rip them for on the next episode. That's fucking gold. Abigail, um, we mean it. This isn't a joke to us. Okay, so, uh, so what? You're, uh, you're trying to tell me that there's a magic in the world that just nobody knows about because there's some secret society. Come on, there's like 18 franchises based off the concept. It's, it's not exactly original. And where do you think those franchises um, got the idea in the I, first place? I, I, I don't know. I'm sure I have an episode about it. Somewhere in notes? I know it's a lot to accept at face value, but can you look at either of us and say that we have ever lied to you? As novel as a concept as that is, this is not something we would lie about. Magic is real. <sighs> we have it. Prove it. Oh, saw that one coming. I have read about magical society since I was eight years old. I have done hours of research poring over evidence and testimonies and every conceivable piece of folklore that I could get my hands on. I have never found conclusive evidence that actual magic exists. It can't be explained away by science, the history, or just the progression of time and mythology. So, so prove it. Do you little light show or whatever and then we can move on and I will try not to be any more annoyed at this than I already am. We're not trying to annoy you. <laughs> you say that, but it still feels no. like you're making fun of- <gasps> Whoa, whoa. Ha. Oh. What? Uh, what is that? What the hell? How, how are you doing that? Oh my. Ha. Ah. Glad to see you took that whole easing them in chapter Wait. to heart. Chapter? What do you mean chapter? What is... Their hand is glowing. What? What? <laughs> what was that? Um... Magic. Magic? Uh, magic. No, no, that's that's got to be a little uh, electric or, or mirrors or one of those like hologram thingies with with the cup and the. And... No. Oh, oh, oh my God! You have magic. You, you both have magic. What? I know this is probably a lot to take in. <laughs> take all the time you need to process. Magic is real. Magic is real. And you can do that too? Not as easily as they can, but yes, I, I can. Um, can, can someone take him from me? Uh, oh, abs absolutely. You give him here. I'll put him back and, and we can... Yeah, yeah, p please. <sighs> so, you... You had magic this 
whole time. Okay, is that why you asked me all those questions when we first met? Like, was it some kind of test or... I, I, don't, I don't know, I feel like I gotta ask questions or I'm gonna pass out. You're sure magic is real? Okay, are, 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 um, are other things real? If you mean other types uh, of magic or magical creatures, mm -hmm. the answer is yes to both. Both. Oh. Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Abigail. We, we wanted to tell you sooner, but there are regulations in place that we... Um, oh, shit, well, of course there are. Pardon? Regulations. There must be an entire magical community that's been integrated with our modern world. Of course, there's got to be an entire governing system keeping all that in check. Not to mention enforcement teams and requirements for all this. <laughs> oh, you really just accepted that right away, didn't you? Oh god, I've been making content about this for years. <sighs> How am I not on some list right now? Am I on a list? Are all supernatural, like, hunters and content creators on lists? God, that's so embarrassing. How much of that did I get wrong? Wait, how much of that did I get right? There's gotta be some things that I guess right. So, and what kind of paperwork did you need to get me approved? Was there paperwork? Can I look at it? Uh, yes, yes, we'll show you anything you want. Answer all the questions you can come up with. But, um, are you okay? You're not up upset? Angry? Scared beyond belief? I don't know. I think I'm still in shock. Okay. I have no idea how to handle that. Well, I don't know. A silent Abigail wasn't in the pamphlet. I'm okay. Okay? A part of me still thinks you're fucking with me. That's understandable. You're not fucking with me? No. You have magic. Mm-hmm. So, you're like... Warlocks? Wizards? Oh shit, are those appropriated terms? Is that offensive? I, no, not offensive at all. We're called wielders. This one is what you'd call an open wielder, someone with a wide variety of magical abilities. <gasps> oh my god, that that sounds so cool. <sighs> uh, um, no fucking way. <clears throat> yes, I'm a telepath. Is that how you know about my drink water? Um, no, I really just guessed. Uh, oh. Okay. No, I can't tell if this is going well or not either. Let's just go with it. Um, obviously it'll take time for this all to settle. We'll provide whatever you need to fully believe us, but this is real. We've decided to tell you because we trust you to keep this secret with us. Right, right, my, my channel. Uh, uh, before you ask, no, you don't need to give up your podcast or anything like that. <sighs> Fuck, I talk about this stuff all the time. Getting me approved must have been an absolute nightmare. <laughs> it's it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're you're very important to us. It was worth the extra paperwork to tell you. I, I feel like I've got a, a billion questions in my head, but I don't I don't know which ones to ask first. <laughs> I, I don't know. If I take my time, then we might be here for a while. Well, we've got all night, and I've got plenty of spare blankets. <laughs> Are you offering a sleepover? I, uh, only if you're comfortable. This is a very heavy conversation. We still need to... Oh. Well, then I guess that settles that, then. 
before we go into all that, Abigail, I don't want you to feel like you're trapped with us if you need some space. Um, excuse you. Uh, you two are the ones trapped with me. Oh, oh no. Okay, so, so you said there's more than one magic type, yeah? O open wielder and all of that. Uh, what about changelings? Elves, fey, uh, how does how does magic work? Like where does it what does it come from? Like inside you or like around you? Uh, is it determined by, <sighs> by I'm right there with you. Well, and what about It's nice having that weight off our shoulders. A thing with Seems she's back to her usual self. Like spread out. I mean, it would be dangerous to have people all piled together in case anything went wrong, but on the other hand, isolation could be devastating for the magical community. What about magical strengths? Is magic quantifiable, and if so, does it and have a need of between you and me, hidden within other units of I don't think this is going to hurt your chances of asking her out on a date. And that's not even mentioning other magical creatures. <laughs> Wielder, I've been in your head the entire time. It's all you've been thinking about. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. She's very lucky. A selkie. Something really fucking cool. I mean, and none. I mean, come to think of it, how many wielders are living next door? Like, in, not in the diner, because I'm the one living in the diner, but like, like, in, in the house next door, or like down the street. Is there is it like a magical block party that goes on without us like common folk knowing? <gasps> Am I invited to the magical cookout? Oh shit, I gotta write all this shit down. Rosie, where do you keep your pens? I'm grateful this all went as well as it did. I'm happy we could do this together. All three of us. If I'm not even close. Man, this is so fucking cool.